Hello. So, installing the rails, which is uh, kind of a bitch. Uh, I'll tell you uh, a little bit about the um, the cart. The magnet base is on. It's on one of the carts that uses the smallest bearings. And uh, pardon me. The reason I use this cart is I cannot feel any play, and it's the easiest to move. Uh, so it gives me the best measurement. Uh, I might change out the balls to a nine. What is it? Three point nine seven instead of the three point nine six balls that are in there, compared to the three point nine eight balls that the carriage comes with. But you know, this one really is like silky smooth. The only downside is that uh, it might be too smooth. So there is hardly any preload. Which is nice for this job. But maybe in the final machine, uh, I think I will, well, I'm pretty sure I will use the 3.97 chromium grade 10 balls, which are rounder, more expensive. And hopefully that works. I don't know yet. I mean, huh? But lining up the rails first, and um, what I'll do is uh, I have this dial indicator here riding on the aluminium. Now I do not know if the aluminium is flat, so normally you would have like a something that you know is flat. And you would like put it on here and put this dial indicator on there. I have a surface plate, but it's really tiny and uh, most certainly not too two meters long. I looked for a straight edge but I only know the English name for it a machine straight edge and the I cannot find anything in, in the Netherlands and if I do find something abroad it's like uh, 600 euros or something or maybe more. <laughs> I'm not uh, you know I'm not making a machine that does microns or something it's a DIY machine and uh, yeah I couldn't care less well if I could make it better I would but uh, yeah it's it's out of my uh, realm price range mostly so I'll try to start the beginning this rail is now butt up all the way to the aluminium so there's quite some room on this side so I'll try to find kind of the middle and put the first screw down because this way I have does this thing has a nut or am I turning this forever it looks like it has no nut hey wait did I I thought I put nuts on this and one thing, uh, there, are, you know, there are people out there that do this uh, much better and more accurate. You know, they level the aluminium, or they use uh, leveling epoxy or whatever. So, if you want to comment something like "you should do this or that," well, it's fine, but uh, keep in mind that, you know. I don't have like a complete machine shop here. So now we should be able to slide this in with the nuts in place. So here are the nuts. I line them up and then I should be able to put them in this slot. It's kind of a uh, wicked investment to make loudspeakers because I have no use for it because I already have a machine that can make the parts I need for making charges where I make my money with that's my income that's also a machine I created myself so it is useful
So, all the nuts are in. The nuts are in. I was saying, like half a year ago, this leans ag against this side because this is bent. And there is always some bending. So what I want to do is not put it all around against this side, but somewhere in between. So I got on both sides wiggle room. Okay, then the dial indicator comes into play. Because we're gonna look at the dial, I'll set it at, like here, I'll put it to zero. Yeah, sort of zero. And now I'm gonna follow this profile. Not exactly, because I don't know if this is flat or straight either. So it's gonna be kind of a, um, yeah, <coughs> sort of. Now you can see the dial indicator here, so I know what I measure here has to do with this screw. It's not completely true because the carriage is over here. It would be nice if the dial indicator would be in the middle of the carriage, which it isn't. And uh, well, I can touch this profile and you can see the needle move. So I'll move it to like zero. Now we see this one is not completely cool. So Next screw, well, kind of okay. -ish. You can see the needle move like here, like it jumps. See that? I'm not gonna correct that because I'm pretty sure it's the aluminium. The rail is not like bent like whoop, like that. These small changes, you see, I don't worry too much about them. But here, it goes, you see, whoop, this is a bend. I think the other stuff is mostly aluminium. Am I riding on a scratch? That's really nice. There's a scratch in the aluminium here. Might be riding that. That's not ideal. Well, it's never going to be perfect. I mean, it's aluminium. And this is a bit janky. It's not the correct um, dial indicator either to do this. But I don't have a puppy thing. So every thing on the aluminium will show up as well. So here is the high spot. I'll change that and then uh, I think it's good enough.
Well, good enough. Since the aluminium is not flat, and uh, most certainly not a reference surface, this is I think the best I can do. And then I'll line up this one, this one to that one, and hopefully that's good enough. If you got an idea how to do this uh, otherwise, uh, that would be nice. But uh, yeah, since aluminium is not probably not flat because it's extrusion, and uh, yeah, there's no way of doing this with without having a reference surface. And since the surface, or at least the thing, is quite long, having a reference. A straight edge or a piece of metal that is completely accurate and flat and whatever that I can like put on here is gonna cost me an arm and a leg so this is the best I can do if you have another idea how you can do this I've seen someone using a wire but I, I'm pretty sure that does not work I think this is the best I can do now I did not torque them down yet so things might change a little bit and I don't have like a a wrench that has a, some sort of torque measurement it's just you know <laughs> if it's uh, on there it's on there I think that's the nice thing about the aluminium with these nuts that they don't come off easily because this aluminium is of course soft so it like digs in a little bit yeah so uh, three more to go or at least this one compared to that one and then I'll start over again I did mark like where I measure so this is riding on the bottom side of this profile reason for that is that my well the idea was this will be on other piece of aluminium and that's the gonna be the bed and I don't care if it's parallel to the top side of the aluminium profile uh, since well nobody cares so that's why I mark them and measure the bottom side to line up the first reel, then do the second one. And if I keep it like this, I can put the carriage on the other piece of aluminium, and if it reaches zero, then they're at the same height as well. That was my idea. So I, I cannot like move this, I have to be really careful putting it on the other reel and do exactly the same, and hopefully it will be on zero. See ya.